Got some deals at Half Price Books today and a package in the mail. Welcome back to another video and today I want to show you guys some of my new things I've gotten uh, some in the mail and some that I got at the store uh, for a recent sale but first off uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go not go in order I'll just kind of like tell you guys where the stuff came from so just came in the package uh, today this is um, a game called state of mind uh, state of mind it's a sci-fi thriller game where a, a man uh, wakes up from an accident and um, he's looking for his family and I really cannot, it's gonna be hard to tell you guys some of the story in this game because it is kind of like telling you anything, it's kind of a spoiler, but it is a thriller, definitely a good game. And um, it came out as a physical, as you can see, in PAL territories, and also is available on the Switch, but I think performance-wise, it's probably better to get it on the PS4, uh, but depending on what you wanna do. Um, but um, definitely a solid game. There's titles like these, that are um, just, I don't, they, they seem not to make it over, over here as a physical, but thank goodness that the PS4 is region free. Um, but State of Mind, definitely guys, is something very interesting, very unique, um, but I can't really say more about it, man. So definitely check it out. Next here is Anima, Gates of Memories. If you remember, I did a break in the seal on this a long time ago, the, the first game. This is um, the same, well, I, I can't say it's the same game, but it, it is the same world, but you actually are playing as the enemy in this time, Nameless. And um, Nameless, was he's able to switch to, through characters throughout time. And now you're actually going to see his side of the story in this game. Now, Anima, Gates of Memories, um, very unique game. Uh, really, when you play this type of game, it feels like a PS2 era type game. You know, pretty much the sixth generation. Um, definitely something that I was very interested in. Uh, I played halfway through the first one. Definitely a lot of fun, guys. Uh, I, this one, I'm pretty sure, is going to be awesome. It's probably going to even be even better because I actually like playing as the bad guy. So I'm very interested in seeing their side of the story. But I will have to finish the first one uh, first so before I get into this so I won't miss anything. But uh, this came out as a physical on PAL Territories uh, over here in America. We got it as a digital download. So, yeah, definitely. Um, if, you, if you guys, any of you have played this game, you guys know that how good this game is so definitely check this one out as went under the radar next here is uh waku waku 7 uh for the sega saturn uh waku waku 7 um is a very cool uh, very very good um fighting game um it, it looks kind of silly and everything but it's, guys this this game is very solid it was above definitely above average definitely is way up there i'll say that uh, some of the characters made it look goofy. It doesn't have a big character roster, which is totally fine. You know, it makes the game more balanced. But, man, Waka Waka 7, I, I'm surprised that it, it's, it's not more popular than than what it is now. I mean, seriously, this game is a fighting game, hidden gem. But some fighting game fans probably think everybody knows about it, which they don't because you don't see Waka Waka 7 out, like, being released again. But anyways, uh, definitely a good game, guys. Lots of fun. Um... I would say for me it was an easy learning curve you know you know combinate lots of combos uh, super moves very flashy cartoony looking very solid game so waka waka 7 up for the saturn definitely pick that one up if you uh, have a saturn and you're looking for some fighting games all right so next up we have a beat em up game for the ps2 called the get backers now the get backers was originally an early 90s um um uh, cartoon or uh, anime uh obviously very popular i mean they got games made after it and this game is pretty much a beat em up uh beat em up games uh where you could drop in and out of co-op pretty much so a lot of fun very cinematic with the beat em up you know like uh they do all these kind of super moves and then it goes into like the close-up and everything it shows your guy powering up a very funny game uh the first one of the first bosses in the game is hilarious um but you, you can see some of the footage here but um yeah, definitely a cool fighting game, and I want to give a shout out to my buddy Kyle for letting me know about this one. I would have never, ever uh, came across this game, ever, so good looking out, man. And also, if you guys are looking for beat-on games like this uh, on the cheap, you know, Get Backers is one of the ones that's out there, so definitely check it out. 
ah, a game I've been looking for for years, and I just kind of fell off from buying it. Uh, back in 2013, or was it 14, um, my buddy Drew, well, this was before Drew, actually, because I found out about this game. My buddy Jesse had told me about this game, actually. So uh, this is Chronos Twin, and this is for the DS. It, it was also avail available for the Wii, uh, Wii Wear system, I think, as a download, but that's kind of lost in time. But this one, the physical one here, pretty much you control two twins on the same screen and different stuff is happening on the screen at the same time. So you're actually, you control them both at the same time. One could be in a fire level trying to like get away from the fire. One could be like fighting a boss. It's just really unique how they, how they put this game together. Um, uh, definitely something I, I would say uh, you might want to pick up for your DS if you're looking for something like kind of quirky and new. Uh, I have never seen this idea kind of done before where you control two characters like on a dual screen and one. It kind of reminds me of um, the Mario, uh, I mean the Nintendo uh, uh, a play, uh, those, those little pocket things. What were they called? Hold on. Uh, Game & Watch. There we go. See, I got my Game & Watch right here. My mom got me this back in the day. But yeah, um, it, it reminds me of that. So just like how you're controlling Mario and Luigi in the Cement Factory. It's kind of like that in a way. So uh, definitely check this one out, Chronos Twin. Oh, only, as far as I know, released in PAL territories as a physical. Uh, I don't know if you could download it on, on the DS anymore, but uh, it was downloadable in America. Uh, next game here is uh, King of the Fighters uh, Regulation A. Um, now, this is pretty much King of the Fighters 2006 uh, that came out for the PS2. Very fun fighting game. I don't hear anybody talking about it. But this one, that game was more of a one-on-one -on -one fighting game where Regulation A pretty much brings the team battles back in from the other King of the Fighters game. Uh, so um, that's what this one has in it. Uh, most of the secret characters that were unlockable in 2006 are already available on this one. And I, I, I haven't noticed anything different besides the tag team play, which is totally fine, you know. But uh, uh, I think it has a couple of new levels or something like that, a little couple of new tracks and everything. But definitely worth getting uh, if you're a king of the fighters fan i'm happy to have this i have dang there every king of the fighters game except the ones on the neo geo system but i got everything else pretty much and uh, happy to have this one all right um next up here got all this stuff this is uh marble saga cornipa <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. I know I messed it up, but yeah. But anyways, this game is uh, kind of like a, uh, it's a tilt game. So pretty much you can use the Wii balance board and you tip the ball and try to get the diamonds and everything. It's pretty fun, actually. Uh, really unique. And um, as you know, it gets probably, it gets harder as you go on. But um, it's just a little unique concept. You know, it's one of those games that actually requires the, v the, the Wii balance board. Or maybe it's optional. Uh, I haven't tried it with the Wii Remote, but uh, supports Wii Balance Board. So there you go. It just supports it. You don't need the Wii Balance Board, but it supports it. So uh, bust out that old Wii Balance Board if you still have it and uh, try it out on this game. So uh, you never see this game in the stores, actually. So I'm uh, happy to have this one. All right. So next up, uh, my first Dreamcast game in a long time. This is Midway's Greatest uh, Arcade Hits Volume 2 for a Dreamcast. Now, um, I saw this. This I think it ended up being around like ten bucks for it, and uh, it has one of my favorite games, uh, Seven Twenty, uh, skateboard game. Uh, Seven Twenty uh, was a crazy. I remember seeing this in arcade, the unique arcade machine they had for it, and the speakers on it. Uh, I remember the bees chasing you, skate or die. It's really intense. Like this reminds me of like a lot of my childhood, and then it has Rampage on there. Rampage is another good game, and also it has um, what was this one right here? Um, it has Gauntlet, uh, Spy Hunter, Moon Patrol, Paperboy. So you get six games. Six games for 10 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. Um, uh, nothing, uh, nothing, um, you know, cr nothing crazy about this collection. It's just, uh, just a couple simple games on here. So uh, if you see this one, definitely check it out. Uh, next up here, we have Konami's uh, Collector Series Arcade Advanced. Um, I actually own this game already, but I saw it at Half Price Books. It was going for um, uh, $5 in the box, no manual, but it, they had the 30% off, so I used that coupon and picked this one up. And it was a good, it was good to pick it up because I'm actually uh, going to do a two-player uh, Game Boy video, like games that you could play on two players on the Game Boy, and this is one of the games you could use that with. But um, I'm looking forward to like playing Russian Attack. Um, 
I, I would say my favorite one out here is G G Gyrus, uh, pretty much. I used to play that back when I was like three, gosh, I think I was like three or four years old. My mom would, t would pick me up from the daycare and we would go to this little uh, liquor store uh, that had a couple arcades and she would like let me play the arcades. I would play this game. And one thing about playing this one is they actually enhanced the art it from the arcade version. Um, they actually, the first level is like this black hole level that you're going through a black hole to the new dimensions and everything. And then you go to the planets Neptune and all that stuff you're trying to get to. I forgot where you're trying to get to, but very fun game, very exciting. Uh, if you see, see this collection, definitely pick it up. I mean, it's definitely worth five bucks. And the last game I think here, is that the, is that the last? Yeah, I think my, my last game. And this is awesome. Um, you guys uh, pretty much know, I think some of you might know, that I'm a big fan of the Siberia series. And uh, Siberia 3, even though some people didn't like it as much, I still found a way to like that series. I mean, it, 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 it had been gone for a while. Like, I think uh, si since Siberia 2, it took him like 13 years for this one to come out. And um, I thought it was an awesome game. I really enjoyed it. Um, but uh, the limited edition came out for it. And... Um, this pretty much has an art book, uh, comes with the original soundtrack, was the soundtrack was outstanding, and it comes with a new mission. Um, I, I don't know, I haven't opened this up yet. I'm not sure if the mission is um, is downloadable. Hopefully it's embedded on the disc, but uh, it was a free download either way. So um, yeah, just to let you guys, if you, some of you go, that, know, that have Siberia 3, um, it, it's actually a free download, but Basically, this game takes place um, right after S Siberia 2, which ended abruptly. And Kate Walker ends up getting in trouble. And uh, she she's found. She's almost she's on the verge of death. It's a, it's a kind of a messed up scene. But the Yukuls that she meet, they actually bring, like, like warm her body back up. Um, bring her back to life, pretty much. And her event the adventure in this game is pretty crazy. There's people that are, that are after her. And, like, it's just pretty outrageous. Um, but definitely, definitely... Uh, if you if you like a good story, uh, a story about travel, about loss, about you know restarting, definitely check out the Siberia series. Kate Walker has been on this journey, I want to say since 2001, 2002. So damn man, it's almost been 20 years. So um, hopefully uh, they're they're thinking about closing the series soon. We'll see how it goes. But uh, happy to have Siberia three. This, this is awesome. Say Kyle, good looking out man. Always got my back, dude. Appreciate you, brother. And that's all I have for you guys, man. So, um, hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. And uh, hopefully hopefully you picked up something from this. Um, and that's pretty much all I got, man. So, uh, Radical Reggie, and I will see you guys later. Thank you.